gradient backdrops. Start with your basic setup, then go to the environment tab and set the environment brightness to zero to fully darken the scene. For our first technique, we'll use the HDRI environment pin. Select the pin tool and move it in the HDRI viewport until it sits directly behind your product. If the pin isn't visible, quickly turn off ground shadows in the environment settings. Now adjust the pin settings. Crucially, increase the fall off, which will smoothly feather the lights and create your desired gradient effect. You can also change the pin's color or add subtle additional pins to fine tune the look. Moving to the studio method, where we have a product on a backdrop ramp, again, we must ensure all light sources are removed from the HDRI environment. Go to the geometry tab and add a plane. Position this plane away from the product, ensuring it faces the backdrop ramp to serve as a backlight. Select the plane, change its material to an area light, and adjust its size and power until the ramp is well illuminated. To create the gradient itself, select the backdrop ramp and change its material to plastic or generic. Open the material graph, right click, navigate to textures, and select the color gradient. Select the gradient node and press C to visualize it directly on the object. This allows you to accurately move and scale the texture to follow the curve of your backdrop ramp. Finally, change the colors within the gradient node to generate your final custom look and make any last adjustments. So that is how you make